My name is Nico, I'm the founder of Tech Open Air. Blockchain is obviously not just about currencies, but it's about the underlying fundamental technology that empowers ideas and institutions all across the world. When I first started out and the internet was just kicking off, you could pick up the books, become an expert in six months on this thing that was growing at an incredible rate. But what's happening now with just truly the finest brains and entrepreneurs in the world, it's incredible. Most tokens will in the end go towards zero. But there are a few companies that will actually make it. Now the power is more in the marketing side to raise a lot of money where, where there is nothing behind it. Many of the ICOs today are offering what is called utility token. And the problem with these tokens is that the incentive of the investor and the incentive of the user are not aligned. Blockchain generally, I, I think there's a lot of talk of it being trustless, but what I really think is that it's a trust-building technology. In general, this uh, Web3 technologies movement is trying to solve some of the issues that we face with uh, centralized systems. By decentralizing, we can make the system more robust. Five years from now, I would hope that we've made some bigger steps towards this actually becoming the infrastructure of a safer, more decentral web. Identity and privacy are the main aspect of humans. So we're building a system of blockchain architecture, but at the same time we're building on the side an AI system. So if you have token trillionaires who are able to access all the computation and all of the data, they are going to have very powerful AI abilities. And I think that kind of inequality is something that we've never seen before. I hope that many will look beyond like just the, the pure wealth and, um, and wealth value aspect of the technology and to start thinking what sort of fundamentally new things can be done with it.